Well, welcome back to Cell Science, a channel dedicated to research and development directed at the improvement of uh, basically treatments toward cancer, autoimmune, and infectious disease. And uh, we recently had some financing, but we're going to get right into this with Gear, the CEO, joining us as always. Welcome back, first and foremost, sir. Well, thank you for having me back again. And always a pleasure to get you right back on here. So you recently announced the pricing uh, of an offering of uh, basically 3.87 million shares, common stock, around two bucks, raising 7.75 million, um, which is offering quite a bit of liquidity. Do you want to just talk about what this means for the company, this cash uh, injection, and how you're going to be utilizing it? Look, we're a biotech company. That means we're cash flow negative, right? But people don't like that when I just remind them, Amgen was cash flow negative. It was a fantastic investment, right? Uh, pharma cyclics, I mean, people made 100 times their money. So the idea of a biotech company is simple. You want to develop a major drug. A major drug is worth literally, I'm not exaggerating, billions. Immunogen was purchased with a, a drug that they just proved to work um, for $10.1 billion in December. So therefore, what's our job as the small company? We are the ones that take the risk. We're the ones that drive it forward. We're the ones who are innovative. And then every so often you have to raise capital. And the fact that we were able to do this very nice deal, uh, no warrants, no structure, no nothing, the cleanest type of deal you can do, and the stock has reacted well to it, that's a very, very good sign for our future. And I would agree. Do you want to just reiterate some of the data points um, just to how far advanced you guys really are? So you see... We've talked about this before. The biggest problem for a biotech company is does the drug work or not? Well, we did a very long, massive phase three study in head and neck cancer. And we know that if you select the right patients, you have massive survival benefit. Survival is the gold standard. You can't do it. I mean, honestly, think about all the people who've died of cancer. All they care about, do I live or not, right? And so the five-year survival without our drug, with standard of care is 45%. With our drug, it's 73%. There's not a little bit. This is a massive difference, right? It almost doubles your chance of living. At five years, it really means something. And safety, very, very nice. Cancer drugs kill people. We don't have any of these issues. We don't have toxicity, hair falling out, people turning green, uh, throwing up, heart murmurs, you name it. We don't have it. So therefore, you just have to do what the regulators tell you to do. You prove that your drug works. You help masses of people and also make a lot of money. Yeah, I love the uh, mission-driven sediment here, and I think it was beautifully stated. So I'll pass it off to the viewers. We'd love to know what you think and consider subscribing because when this catalyst the news continues to hit the wire, of course, we'll bring it to you here. But on that note, we look forward to catching you in the next one.